The bike industry is well and truly a global one. Bikes are made all over the world, they're designed all over the world, and we're gonna see them at the trails of the Western Cape at the Absa Cape Epic. But we found a unique example. It's a bike that is made in South Africa, designed in South Africa by a South African. And we're gonna go and talk to them right now. So we're lucky enough to catch up with Philip Bass, multiple national champion, multiple African champion, and uh, current wearer of the red Absa Africa jersey and multiple winner of that jersey. And um, he's the best person to tell us about probably the most South African bike that we've ever seen at the Absa Cape Epic. We're gonna start with the heart of the bike, the heart of any bike, which is the frame, and it bears the name Piger. This is Patrick Morwood's brand. He founded it. He's uh, a man from Peter Maritzburg. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, this particular frame. Yeah, so uh, this is the Paiga Mobu and um, yeah, that's what we raced all season through and um, uh, yeah, the bike, as you said, is designed by Patrick Morwood. Uh, I think he's world renowned for, you know, his, uh, his uh, eye for bike design and aesthetically it looks like a fast bike and um, yeah, functionality and the way the suspension work is just probably the most efficient bike that I've ever ridden and I think that's ideal for South African conditions. Um, you need a dual suspension in South Africa. Um, you know, in Europe, you get a lot of uh, climbing, but uh, from some of the races I've done there, it's usually on smooth, uh, you know, smooth roads or tar roads. And uh, in South Africa, with something like Epic, you've constantly got the terrain, you know, pushing back at you. So you want an efficient bike, and that's what we have uh, in this frame and the frame design. And um, yeah, this specific, the carbon bike is, is manufactured in, in South Africa, in Johannesburg. Um, yeah, and actually all, you know, yeah, Pygas bikes are all manufactured 100% in South Africa now. Um, the aluminium bikes are manufactured in Peter Maritzburg and that's the headquarters of Pyga and that's where, yeah, Patrick makes his uh, magic happen. That's great information. So it's made under the careful supervision in Johannesburg. It is a full carbon bike and uh, tell us a little bit about the, um, the angles and uh, the pivot points because Patrick's well known for uh, thinking a little bit further ahead into the future. So um, tell us about the head angle because I noticed something special about this. It looks like there's some adjustability there. Yeah, so on, on the Mobu, um, we can adjust the, the reach on the bike. Uh, it's sort of a flip chip in here. Um, so yeah, you know, not all riders are, uh, you know, same, same stature. You know, you might have guys that have long legs but a short uh, upper body. So um, yeah, it just, just gives you a bit more adjustability. And uh, yeah, personally for me, this is probably the most comfortable bike I've ever been on. Um, again, coming to something like Epic, it's a race of uh, being the most efficient out there. And uh, the slacker head angle, slightly longer bike, uh, just gives you so much stability. Um, if you think with Epic, how many corners you do a day, um, all that uh, little twitches, you know, correcting the bike and steering, all adds up uh, to fatigue. So the less you do of that, uh, yeah, the less you fatigue over the of, over such a long day and or such a long race. We've got it uh, set up uh, sort of at the as the racy setup with uh, about 118 mil travel on the back and uh, 120 mil travel on the front. Um, and you can easily convert this bike to a super playful, you know, enduro bike with uh, I think we can do up to 130 mil travel on the back and whatever you want on the front. So. Uh, as racy as this bike looks here, it's, uh, it's really a super playful bike as well. Great, no doubt you have a chance to, uh, to try it out on some of the uh, more gravity oriented trails. Now, one thing we did notice are the wheels. They bear the name Handgemaak, which is an Afrikaans, uh, you could say a pale flying. Tell us about the, uh, about the, the rims. Yeah, so we are fortunate enough to you know, partner with another South African brand. Uh, the, it's yeah, South and Industries and uh, as the name said, you know, handmade in South Africa. And uh, again, it's attention to detail and uh, you know, we give a lot of feedback and uh, they get a lot of inf input from the, from the team. And um, yeah, again, at a race like Epic, you've got the roughest and toughest conditions. So it's ideal place for them to you know, put everything uh, through its paces. And I think if anything can survive the Epic for eight days, um, yeah, you've got a really great and reliable product. And yeah, again, we're fortunate to, to partner with uh, South Industries on, on our wheels. Philip, I spotted something quite interesting here. You're not using cable ties, and it looks like a very interesting uh, bar mount system for your, uh, for your number. Tell us a little bit about this. I believe this is also a local design. Yeah, it's locally designed. It's the mount bracket, and um, 
Yeah, it's something we've been uh, riding, you know, for a few races now, and uh, we found it very re reliable. And obviously, it's an eco-friendly thing. You're not, uh, uh, you know, chucking away <laughs> plastic cable ties all the time, and um, it's really, really reliable. And uh, you know, it leaves some space between your handlebar um, and the number board, so um, yeah, you don't have your handlebar, you know, getting some scratches and stuff. Uh, you know, we all know this stuff is quite expensive, so. Yeah, great product and also locally um, yeah, in South Africa and um, super reliable and uh, lightweight. But there's one last question. How much does it weigh? Well, uh, if, take I, a guess. if I had to take a guess, uh, the way it feels out there, it's under 10 kgs. <laughs> well, let's put it to the test. The water bottles are empty. We manage that, right? 11.47. That's not bad.